Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Hey, today we are going to do something cool. I mean, something that will make my bike run cool. So in this video, we are going to install Trailtech Digital Fan Kit. Especially when you go uphill in first gear, you know, it's kind of technical and you don't have really high speed. So there is not a, there is not a lot of airflow going through a radiator to cool the bike down. It happened to me twice that I boiled the coolant on my Husaberg. Maybe these bikes are running a little bit hotter than your other bikes, but usually if you have 450 and you are you know, trying to change this uh, or turn this MX bike into a good trail bike and you go on the tight technical stuff, then normally you, you run really hot. So it's really a good idea to have a fan. So this is your fan that you're supposed to install on the radiator. It goes on the right side radiator. It's really nice built, it looks very tough, very durable. It comes with a temperature reader and then you can set uh, when you want this fan to come on. I don't know, maybe 150, 170, something like that. I mean, you can decide when it comes on. And uh, this bed boy right here, this is where you connect it to your bike. So KTM's, Husabers and Huskies, they are supposed to come with the plug that is hidden somewhere in the, in the wire harness that you can just plug and play. If you don't have anything like that, the trail tech also supplies this little thing right here. So you can go all the way to your battery, connect this on the negative, I mean on a, on a positive on the negative. You even have a fuse that uh, you can have for that thing. And so you can connect it directly on a battery. According to instructions, we are supposed to remove the shroud, seat, tank, uh, to have access to this radiator. But uh, I'm gonna try to do it with my tank on. My tank is a little bit different than on your KTMs. It will involve a lot more to remove it. So I'm just gonna try to take the shroud and seat off and then uh, hopefully it will give me enough room to work on my radiator. You need to take out this bolt from your water pump to drain the coolant. But be careful because the coolant will come out uh, with quite a strong stream. It will not just come down like that, it will be almost 90 degrees. So because we have opened our radiator, the flow should be pretty good. So get ready with your funnel and make sure that you can catch it. Let's see. <laughs> last time, I, last time I spilled all over, all over the garage. You see the flow? It's pretty strong. So we are going to undo the radiator. There are only two hoses holding this radiator, so we're gonna undo those. Oh, cool, that was easy. And check this out. This right here is exactly what I was looking for. You see, this is the connector we just plug your fan into, so I don't need to do any cutting, anything. The fan comes on radiator right like this. There is a sensor I'm gonna install later. The radiator already has a holes. You just need to align it. One here, one right here. And there are self-tapping screws, four of them, that you're gonna put in these two holes and two on the other side. These screws are Torx T20. So make sure that you have correct size. You're not supposed to wiggle on it. They are self-tapping, so it's, uh, it's a little bit harder to put them in the first time. Oh, 
All right, before I go all the way, I'm just gonna make, make sure that everything is good. Things are aligned. My radiator is a little bit bent right here, so this bolt might be a little bit off, but you have bigger hole on the, on the bracket, so you can move it a little bit, you know, up and down, so that's fine. Next would be to install the sensor into your radiator. You need to push it directly inside into the radiator, kind of straight in. But before you do that, pick the one you want to use, the one that is nice and straight. I have this one. And then use a little bit of this thermal compound or thermal grease that will block all the air. You don't want to cool this thing. You want to take you want this thing to take the good reading of the temperature. So you want to block all the air that would go it would be flowing next to this thing. That's why you want to use this grease. But use it only for the one hole that you're going to use for the sensor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So try not to be as messy as I am. All right, that should do. And then you take your sensor Make sure you go straight down. If it stops, you can use some kind of uh, maybe hammer handle or something like that. But go gently. All right. Now each bike is a little bit different, but on my bike. This is this is the connector, and it's it's too high, it's too far. So when I put my fan in here. My other connector is somewhere here, so this is too short. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the zip tie right here to free this connector, but I want to keep the same zip tie in the same spot, so before I cut it, I want to put this one in, and then cut it, tie this one up, and free only this wire. I will let it come somewhere down here so I can connect it to my fan. There you go. So I only need this guy to be free. Come hang out here. And then do the same as it was before. There you go. Cool. Now I have enough room to connect my wires and then put the radiator where it belongs. That's in. This hose. We'll do the bottom one as well. We can slide that thing underneath just like that. There you go. Check out the fit. This thing is made exactly for this tank, exactly for Husaber. It's almost touching on few spots, it's like hugging the tank. Good job, Trail Tech. Make sure you, after you do that, start the bike and then after a couple of minutes check the level. So let's set it up. Right now it's on Fahrenheit, so you push the button, hold it for like three seconds until you see this. Now the Fahrenheit you can switch to Celsius if you want to, but I'll keep it in Fahrenheit, I'm, I'm in America. So wait till this Fahrenheit changes into high and then we'll be able to set your high. Now it's on 150, but if I keep pushing it, I will set it on different temperature. So I can set it whatever I like, but right now I want to have it on 150 because I want to test it and see how it comes on. But during the riding, I, I think I'll probably go higher. So let's set it in 150. That's it. There you go, the fan is on. 
blowing really nice. Sucks air from here, blows out here. Cool! So the fan kit is installed, everything seems to be working great. When I hit 150, the fan comes on, it blows really nice and it's really nice airflow. So definitely I think this will help me to stay cool on those gnarly technical trails when I go you know, uphill, especially when it's a little bit warmer outside. So this is definitely a must have mod for you guys who are trying to run your 450s, you know, these big uh, motocross bikes on the on the trails even some like the xc's bike ktm's xc's they don't come with the fans from the factory but you see they have the harness with the plug-in so check the website check the trail tech website and see if they have a fan for your bike definitely recommend this mod all right my friends that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you later